In this video, we're gonna draw this little cute village together. Hi, my name is Esther Nariyoshi. I am an illustrator, designer, and a top teacher on Skillshare. You're watching my quick snack series here, where I explain how to use Adobe Illustrator in short episodes for designers and illustrators of all skill levels. In this video, we're gonna make this little washi tape together. So let me just move it up out of the way and start drawing. So we can see some simple geometric shapes, which is easy peasy because we have covered in previous season. I'm just going to go ahead and click on my polygon tool. Just drag out some rectangle. If you want to draw hexagon or whatever weird shapes, just click your up and down arrow you will get different kinds of polygons. Anyways, this is fine to me. All right, and I want some circles. So it's L on my keyboard or on everyone's keyboard. And I want the circle to be perfect, meaning not oval. So I'm holding shift as I draw. All right. Next, we're going to draw some squiggly lines. So I'm going to go ahead and use the line segment tool, which is this one right here or forward slash on your keyboard. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a horizontal line. I'm holding shift to make it perfectly horizontal, but you don't have to. I just like it to be flat. So. I'm going to give it a stroke color and maybe make it thicker for your viewing pleasure. And then I want to go up to effect and stylize actually effect and distort and transform. And I want to go all the way down to zigzag. Woo. It's blocking me. There you go. And you want to change the size and the ridges per segment. For example, I want my line to be a little bit more exaggerated. So maybe around 40. And I also want it to be a little closer together. So maybe eight. All right. You can change to smooth, which will make the corners rounded, or you can go with the corner look. It's really up to you. I'm going to go with the rounded look and click on OK. So right now, even though we have the squiggly line, as you can see, our path is still straight. It just means that right now it's not the actual path. It's the effect that has been applied to our path. To turn this squiggly line into one path, you can go over to object and expand appearance. This will give us the wavy path. So I'm going to maybe leave it to the side. Eventually, I'm, I want to make a pattern that fills this area. Let's do that first. I'm going to hold my option key to make a duplicate option and drag. And I want to cut a portion of this shape. So I'm going to go ahead and press C on my keyboard and just break this into three sections. And I want this to be a little bit smaller. And I'm using the free transform, which is E on your keyboard to rotate it. So if you click on one of the shapes and press E, and then hover to one of the corners. You can rotate it. So now I want to make a pattern out of this. So I'm going to select it all and go over to object, pattern, make. And don't show me this again. Click on OK. Now you have the preview of your pattern. You can adjust the um, Spacing. 
I have an entire class on Skillshare teaching how to make a complicated pattern right now. Because pattern is not the focus of this tutorial, I won't go too in depth. And then I want to maybe fill in the gaps, pressing option, and then just adding little elements here and there, moving things around so it looks even. By the way, in my description box, I have a two weeks free link for you to use if you want to just give Skillshare a try, where I teach some of my longer and more advanced classes. There you go. I'm happy with this and just gonna go ahead and click done. So this will be added to my swatch panel. Technically, I can delete all this. So if I were to draw a um, rectangle and then just click on the swatch, make sure the fill is in front. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Now I have the new pattern as a fill. So I want to give it a background color. I'm going to go ahead and copy this shape. Why? Well, actually, before I do that, I want to show you how to make the squiggly edges. So I'm actually going to go back to my original rectangle and then grab this little shape that we just made and turn it around by using the free transform and maybe give it a different color so you can see it clearly. So I pressed command shift right bracket to bring this up and I want this to be on the other side too. So I'm holding option. Now I want to select all of these guys and then use the shape builder tool which is shift M on your keyboard. It's this little icon with two circles right here. And then what you want to do is to take off what you don't need. By default, this will let you lump different shapes together. But if you want to take things out, you can hold option and then just click on the shapes that you don't want or details that you don't want. And then get rid of this guy too. So now we have a shape that looks like this. I'm going to delete even the lines right here. So basically that's how you get the ridges. And then I'm going to make, then I'm going to apply the pattern. I will use this orange as our new background color. So I'm going to make an exact copy for our pattern. So I'm going to choose a different background color. In this case, uh, maybe a darker blue. Close enough. And then Command C to copy. If you just do Command V on your keyboard, it will paste at a random location. However, if you do Command C and Command F, you will paste right on top. And then we can go ahead and select our pattern that we just made. Now we have a washi tape. Whenever you want to change color, you can select those and click on one of the color groups. Or you can click on the recolor artwork tool and then tweak the colors. I don't know why I have two oranges right here. Maybe I'll make one of them darker, one of them lighter, the other darker, and then you can tweak um, the color of your blue or make it purple. It's up to you and click on OK. So now we have a washi tape. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Go check out my Skillshare classes by clicking the link below to get a free trial. I will see you next time.